All right. Now we're gonna do the chest. We're gonna start with the darkest shade. We're gonna use the line draw tool again. Uh, if you get an idea, this is where the chest is. So we're gonna start a little below that. Oh, and you know what? I just noticed for the first time it dips upward a little bit there. And then he goes out and around. Huh. When I was doing it in my test run, it looked different. But this is better. Because you if you draw a sprite a few times you have a visual representation, you tend to really realize what you're making. Because before, I didn't have an idea of what it looked like. I was trying to do it from memory. And then, I found this picture, so this looks better. Alright. Now, I'm going to try to draw in the shoulders. As you can see here, they're a little... You know, they stick out. Sometimes it's a good idea to draw these on like scratch paper. Drawing it can really help you. Excuse me. Alright, and we're gonna do the same over here. It's in the back a little bit, so it's not gonna be as big. As we've got that done, then we can fill in the center. Boom. Boom.
You know what? Right there, it's silver. So I'm going to take that. And that's orange. So I didn't put an orange on the palette, and I want to do so now. So I'm going to RGB again. And yeah, I was fiddling around with an orange before. There. You can do that anytime you have some sort of visual thing that you realize you want to fix. And this one will save it. Okay. Oh, there's a couple spots in this. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just draw straight stupid mouse pad piece of paper. Okay, I obviously cannot draw straight. hit the option right there to hit move, you can bring it down and stroke that path again. Alright. Okay, that's really good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that orange field out. Just to see how that looks. I'm going to try that, and that 